YouTube channel of Kanak Info Systems LLP and today we'll see how we can create custom header, footer and home page home page and how to link CSS in the website in ERP next. So let's see. So the first step is to create the app. Let's move to the terminal. Uh, this is my app for now and let me show you how this works you can see default home page and header and footer so this is my current website Let's create a new app. New app. Okay, bench. New app. And then the name of the app. So let's type custom underscore website. Bench new app. Okay, let's hit enter and app title would be Kanak website and then another prompt for description and that is Kanak Info Systems LLP app publisher is Kanak Info System LLP and app email so these are all the pop-ups that you need to fill kanakinfosystems.com com and enter okay info at the rate kanakinfosystems.com and enter and now our website is installing So custom website bench start so this is to run the app but before that we need to install so for that we will go with bench slash uh, site s i t e and site name is custom website okay custom website and then we have app name install hyphen hyphen app and the app name was custom underscore website Sent enter, but app name yes, okay. Enter so as you can see, it is installing our website and updating the dashboard. So, this is our custom website, and this is hooks.py with everything that we put on the pop ups. Let's go bench start. So this is how our current app looks like app let's add the index code okay www dot new file let's add the content from here let's paste and save it as 
in desktop.html inside www folder add also add in hooks.py okay so we need to add it here as well index like this home page equals to index so yes so our home page has now some content which we wrote in the index.html file and we have mentioned that it is our home page so this is the path and index and this is our index.html file Now let's see how it looks when start and let's reload the page so as you can see our index.html is here now with all the content Now let's see how we can add the CSS. So the path of CSS is inside the public folder and the CSS folder. Inside public CSS. Let's create a new file here. And let's paste the code and save it as custom website.css so we have created our CSS file as well inside the public and CSS folder now let's include this in the hooks.py as well so we have to include it like this okay let's uncomment and so this is how we have included the website CSS custom website in the assets CSS okay So this is our CSS, we have included, custom website, let's restart our server and let's see how it looks now, so let's reload and as you can see the CSS part is here now. is applied done so let's see how we can now add footer code so this is the path for footer templates includes footer footer.html 
so in templates let's go to includes and new folder footer and inside it let's create a new file footer.html and footer new file so let's paste the content and save it as footer.html so this is our footer and the content now okay let's restart and let's see how it looks right now it is empty and let's reload and as you can see the footer has now loaded and we have our content this is how our footer looks like and let's see let's see this path in hooks.py web includes css so this was all for this video thank you